Hey guys, what's going on? This is a video for Journos Comics 100 sub contest. Uh, Chris, how you doing? <laughs> anyway, um, this video is to get into the sweepstakes. I'll put the link below to his actual contest. But um, he's going to be giving away a boatload, a shipload, if you will, of comic books. And he is going to have a, you know, first, second place. The first one's going to go to the people that have the most impressive video. And the second place is going to go basically on drawing, random. If you ain't first, you're last. You know? I'm in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, here we go. Anyway, um, Chris has a few requests, all right? To be in his contest, you got to make sure you sub to him. So if you're not doing it, be sure you do it. No excuse. Link is down below. Um, also, shout out your local comic book shop. In my case, it is first off, Horizon Comics will always be my hometown shop, even though they're in California and I'm in Colorado. All right, but now in Colorado, in the Mile High State, um, it is going to be Hor not Horizon. Um, it is going to be Hastings. All right, you guys have seen my Hastings halls. They treat me very well over there. I'm going to give you guys a tour of that place, being Comic Book Wednesday and all, show you guys what it's like inside, uh, and um, showing you, you know, what, uh, what it looks like. So some of you don't know what Hastings is. So let me show you guys. So if you don't know, you will. All right. Uh, all, all in all, um, let me go over a few more things here before I actually give you guys the tour. Um, he wanted to also know, uh, getting to know you, a couple things personal. All right. Um, well, I'm a big time baseball fan. Dodgers, obviously. Oh, one. High drive. Deep right center field. And it is gone. I'm sorry, Chris. Um, also a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Big football fan. Love my Philadelphia Eagles. And basketball, um, I am a Laker fan. So, from California, Southern California, Lancaster, California, big LA ties there, but um, now I'm in uh, Colorado, Montrose, Colorado, and you know, that's how it is. Um, another thing you wanted to know is any kind of talents. Do we have any talents? Well, I, I, I actually also do Muppet impersonations here, Chris, so maybe we should collaborate a little bit and have like a, you know, Grover versus Kermit kind of thing maybe or something like that I don't know that'd be funny but um I can do that um I like wrestling you know not so much as like as I used to but you know Lucha Underground I'm a big fan of that um WWE not bad I mean it's not Lucha Underground but it's pretty good um what else what else interesting about me I can't think of anything really I mean besides comics not really. If, it, if I remember something else, I'll let you guys know, but not really. Um, first book in history that I ever bought. I still think I have it, actually. So let me see if I can dig that up. All right, I dug them up, and I do actually, surprised to see that I do have my first book that I ever purchased. Actually, it was two books that I purchased. Um, first time ever going to a comic book store. It was actually in Palmdale, California. The location was AV Comics and Cards in Palmdale. And I went in there looking for the death of Superman, but came out with this. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 138. This is the actual book, guys. The first book that I got ever when I went for comics. And I think I may have changed the bag and board on this maybe 10 years ago because I can see it's got old school tape on there. But um, this is the first book that I ever bought from a comic book store. As well as this one right here. Marvel Team-Ups, Spider-Man and the Black Widow number 57. Love the cover. I got a thing for Samurais. I love Samurais. So the Silver Samurai definitely drew my attention. But um, this was it. Black Widow down there on the cover. Love the cover. Spider-Man's jumping. And I actually sold this book, the, the first original book that I had. And then I picked this up in a little haul. 
I, it's sentiment again because it was one of the first books I ever bought. But this one is actually the actual book. This is the book I took off the rack back in 1992. Yeah, now sell twice a month. Yeah, this was it. Pretty cool. Thanks for uh, Chris. Thanks for requesting that because I I wouldn't have dug it up if it wasn't for you. So <laughs> cool. Um, next thing here is that was the first book in history. Again, it was I was in there going for Superman and. Pulled out, you know, came out with Amazing Spider-Man. The rest is history. Um, favorite comic book character? Obviously, he's in the background, all up, all up back there, and you know, Spider-Man, of course, no doubt. Number one, if I were gonna pick a second, um, Batman's is cool, but you know what? I got a thing for Captain Marvel, not the female Captain Marvel. You know, um, Shazam, the Captain Marvel from you know Fawcett Comics. That he's a cool character, man, and you know I like Superman, I like Batman, but. For some reason, Captain Marvel, he's just a cool character. I think he's very underrated, and uh, you know, hopefully they do a little bit more with him here with DC. But um, that's it, favorite character. So next is going to follow the tour of my comic book store, my local shop. Hope you guys enjoy uh, Chris wanted to see where my local comic book shop is, which is Hastings here in uh, Colorado. So um, I'm going to come on out here out of the car and do a little new comic book Wednesday uh, pickups so come on with me let's check it out all right Chris as you can see I take my own bags and boards inside because well you'll see why let's take a walk all right guys here is what Hastings looks like from the inside and um, as you can see there's books galore what that sign say here well giving people the warning that uh, no gift cards will be held up but um, yeah as you can see there is a lot of bags and boardless books now some of them those that are bag and boarded are kind of like uh either they think are special or whatnot but uh for the most part most of them are not with uh bag and board they're all loose and um, that's why i bring my bag and boards exactly for that reason now you can see um they've had issues here with trying to get the most recent stuff actually there's a copy there um i think i see it here the new superman yeah, that's going to be something I want to make sure you pick up here. Sweet. All right. Two ninety nine. you can't go wrong here with the new Superman. But, um, yeah, where was I here? It, it's, it's, uh, they're not really getting a lot of books that they used to. Um, they used to get every book. But now, not so much here. This is what the uh, variants look like. This wall of, of variants. Now, if you see, there's a lot of gaps in there because a lot of the variants uh, that they've had in the past have been picked up. And um, they're not getting new ones. I haven't seen any new variants here since um, Star Wars uh, Force Awakens. So, but this is, these are the actual bins where you can find some, some good stuff here. It's where I find The Walking Dead 100, second print. This is where I found Miles Morales. This is where I found um, five Outcasts, number one's first prints. This is, this is the location, guys. And they do have some cool, like that Deadpool and the Merc for Money variant. Some cool variants that are ex Hastings exclusive. So they got their fair share of cool things. And um, yeah, this is where you do most of your digging here. Again, it's kind of bald compared to what it used to, but um, it still has some stuff. And they are getting new stuff here. Not as much of it, but they are getting new stuff. So hopefully there's a tower of short boxes, beautiful short boxes. Um, as you saw, my, my two that I picked up here from Hastings. But, yeah, this is the wall. So, you guys like uh, Vinyl Pops? Hastings is also a great place to pick up Vinyl Pops. Huge supply. And you can go online to GoHastings.com, pick them up online. But Vinyl Pops are very cool. 
a uh, good place to pick them up all kinds buy one get one half off so they got good sales on them and they have a, a huge variety of them so as you can see all over the place all over all over now some of these you can pick up at walmart too i've I noticed here at the walmart here in montrose that uh they have you know some of these same vinyl pops but um hastings does have the best selection by far and this is just the direct the the hastings here in my place the one in grand junction has even more vinyl pops it's crazy it's a bigger store but this is where i get my stuff here this is the section i i spend most of my time my wife likes the pop vinyls i like the books here are the 99 cent books all these books are 99 cents can't beat that and sometimes you'll find some good stuff. Sometimes you'll find some nuggets in there. They're bag and boarded and everything else. And sometimes they even give you 50% off of those 99 cent books. So it's, it's a beautiful thing. But um, yeah, this is the one that everyone's been looking for, I think. Um, I'm looking through them here. I'm trying to see what catches my eye. But I remembered here that Hastings usually put some books aside for me. So I'm checking to see if this is it, but no, those are the pull lists for the Hastings subscribers. That's a pile for somebody else. But uh, Stacy, the person that's in charge of the books, usually puts some books aside for me when I call her in the morning. They're here somewhere. There they are. Got to be them right there. There it is. Boom. All three. She hooked it up again. Thank you very much, Stacy. That's what I'm talking about. But um, she even bag and boarded these books. They don't come bag and boarded. As you see, if you can see Nightwing up on the on the uh, rack there it is not bag and boarded but mine is loving it and that superman is still there i'm gonna scoop that up scoop up that uh second all new superman so two all new supermans uh, now they're out of them i'm the one that's responsible for hastings running out cool but um, look in, scope in, see if there's anything else in that that's worth, you know, picking up. Not really. Now, this is a, one of the big deal books, of course. Civil War 2, number 3. Spoiler alert, guys. Spoiler alert. Um, skip ahead 20 seconds if you don't want to know what's going on. But can't believe, you know, they're charging $4.99 for this book. Calling it a key book. When, you know, Bruce Banner can't die the fool's got to come back so it's hot sell it while you can because you know in a matter of time this fool comes back just saying um spoiler it over so yeah guys all right guys as you can see just leaving hastings right now yes got some good stuff here Got some stuff. All right, guys, you saw my comic book tour of my local shop. Let me show you guys the books that I picked up. First one, of course. Big things happen in this book here. Civil War 2, number 3. This uh, spoiler. Spoiler. Nah, I won't give you guys a spoiler. I'll let you guys read this. It just came out today. I, I, won't, I won't tell you guys what's going on in here, but yeah. Big events, big events. Not, you know, not to say they won't be undone, but pretty big right now. So there you go. Next one is Batman. Actually, no, Nightwing, not Batman. Rebirth, number one. Nightwing's a cool character. I'm glad to have that. So, you know, ongoing series. Jump on board like I did with the new 52. And not just one copy of the Chinese Superman but two copies of the Chinese Superman. So, yeah, I like the Chinese Superman. So, there it is. That's what I picked up here on my run to Hastings today. So, give you guys some closure because I know you guys were dying to see what I picked up. So, there it is. All right, guys. Well, that's it for my video here at Journal Comics. Congratulations again on the 100 subs. Uh, this is throwing my ring, my hat in the ring. All right, there it is from myself. Half man, half amazing. Out.